Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. I am Van, and we are all the LFR family. I am simply trying to see what's going on in this world and trying to figure out how I can use my platform and whatever gift I may have given to me by God, born and raised with, because we are all the same. I'm just trying to figure out how to use this to not only spread goodness and love and faith of God, but also um, truth. All right. Truth. I don't want to offend anyone. I don't want to join a team. I don't want to be on the side. Only thing I want to do is figure out exactly what's going on in this world, specifically this country, state, county, all those things. But I want to be able to use my God given rights at the best of my ability so that my family can win, so that my community can win, so that my country can win. All right. So right now we're about to check out some news together and y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me all right let me get down on my tools i'm standing up man probably do some jumping jacks while i'm doing my but i'm really trying to get to it man hopefully y'all are too god bless it all of y'all really, really scary because each time you hear that someone gets shot you worry about your child you worry that it could be your child if you are caught with a gun you get a slap on the shoulder, you get bailed, and then you come out mm. and you repeat the same thing. Mm. We need stricter law. We need these kids, these criminals need to be punished. Mm. It is a terrible feeling, you know, knowing that your mm. child can be next. That's right. She knows that terrible feeling. She's the mother of a New York City murder victim, angry at city leaders, making an emotional plea that you just heard as crime is spiraling out of control. Violence in the New York City subway system has hit a 25-year high. Wow. Now remember, the mayor says, and other people in his office are saying, yeah, nothing to see here. What they mean, nothing to see here? Y'all see that spike right there? If it was something good, it would be something to see here. We would be celebrating. If we seen a spike like that, if we seen a spike like that with the economy, how well it's doing, we will go crazy celebrating. If we did a spike like that, seeing how many people were getting jobs, we would go crazy celebrating. But when we see a spike like that, it has something to do with something negative, like crime. People don't want to have any accountability. That's the BS that I'm talking about. And being that my youngest is 17, my oldest is 25, and I got two boys who are right in the middle at 20 and 23, I want things like this to get better, man. I don't want them going around, going about their day, doing what they're supposed to do, doing exactly what their mom and dad taught them, their teachers taught them over the years, their pastor taught them, their friends taught them, all of the good qualities, and then something like this affects them negatively. Like, come on, man. That's, that's just ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Ridership is plummeting. The number of killings in the past two years now higher than the amount recorded during the entire 11 years Ooh. between 2008 and 2019. Critics also railing against soft on crime policies, which have led to the release of violent criminals who commit crimes over and over. And by the way, those subway killings, they're person on person. They're stabbing. Wow. They're hitting people in the back of the head with hammers. Wow. I mean, th this is Why? out of control and it's a tight space. Why? What the hell is going on in New York, man? What's, what's going on in New York? What, what's going on? What's in the water? What's in the food? What's in the pizza? What's on the daggone rats that's running across and to and fro, not knowing which way they're going to go? Religion is leaving us. Not even religion. God is leaving, leaving us. Relationship with God is leaving us. Everybody are so free to be whatever the hell they want to be. And they're saying, well, I want to be a menace. I don't want to work. I want to rob you for your stuff. That's what I want to do. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to rob you for your stuff. I'm going to wait till I see you coming from work. You the fool. Huh? And then I'm going to take whatever you got. Bust you in the head. Nobody's going to do anything. I told y'all in videos before, New York is turning into Gotham freaking city, man. It's turning into Gotham city. They, they say life imitates art. Sometimes art imitates life, man. Just saying that.
It's, it's just ridiculous. Down there. It's hard to get away from somebody who's trying to kill you. Police say the man who went on an axe-wielding rampage at a Manhattan's McDonald's last month I remember this. was just arrested again, this time for vandalism and fleeing from police. I don't even know why they run anymore. They walk through a revolving door at the DA's office. An this alleged member of the so-called Green Goblin Gang accused of attacking two teenagers on a subway was... I told y'all, man, this is Gotham City. It's literally Gotham City. What else is it? You got a dad going, a Green Goblin Gang? A Green Goblin... Come on, man. A Green Goblin Gang. Where else could you have a freaking Green Goblin Gang? Where's the Penguin? Huh? Where's the Joker? They got a Green Goblin... There's nothing to joke about because people are, getting, people are getting hurt, man. People are getting killed. But the Green Goblin Gang, come on now. Y'all are not even being original. We the Green Goblin Gang. Make sure you got your green tights on and you got your green tights. And we're going to go down to the, to the, to the, to the um, train station and we're going to rob a few people in our Green Goblins. And that way, whenever we out and about, we just stop and they won't see us. We ain't even got to run. These people are high out their damn mind, man. He released yesterday without bail. Crazy. However, Democrats are playing the blame game. We have a red state murder problem. Eight of the top 10 states with the highest murder rates happen to be red states. These states in the United States that have a rate of homicide that is 40% higher our MAGA states, they are Trump states. You know, Higher. Republicans say the opposite. It's all the blue states. Republicans lie. I mean, let's just get down to it. Republicans lie. Bruh, then you must be a Republican. <laughs> right? Am I right? Somebody, somebody agree with me. He must be a Republican. I mean, this, when times like this... <laughs> When we're having times like this in our country, this is when we're supposed to come together. But no, because what this means to you is money out of your pocket. This means that you're about to lose your job. One of your friends about to lose their jobs. This means that you're going to lose contracts and all this other stuff. Like poop rolls downhill, flows downhill. And now you got to save your tail by blaming it on. It was them that did it. You sound like a damn kid, like when your 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 parents are upstairs or at an, in another part of the house or apartment, and they hear something break, and they run out there and they see you with the broken glass in your hand, or with the broken item in your hand, or standing right above where the item fell, and you decide to say, "My brother did it, my sister did it, he did it. It was his fault. It wasn't my fault." take some responsibility that's the only way we can teach responsibility we got to do it first if we don't do it first nobody's going to listen to us nobody's going to follow suit i know damn well i would not follow anybody who aren't first taking responsibility does that make sense to you this is ridiculous that man. is what they do wow wow a new wow, york indeed. post op-ed calls it all a shameless ploy it cites fbi data that show in 50 of the nation's largest cities, homicides are up by 16% in those led by Democrats. The numbers don't lie. <sighs> Compared to just 9% in cities with Republican mayors. I, I don't know where that man was getting his numbers, or maybe he's delusional, but that one-on-one -on -one person crime, that is brutal. It's real. Jason Rand, wow. Seattle radio talk show host. Jason. Wow. This is, at this point, 100% a political problem. It's not socioeconomic. It's not about access to guns. It's not about anything other than politicians changing the law or changing policies that are deliberately light on crime. And so the only way we're going to see any change whatsoever is if you make political changes. You boot the people out of office who are causing this, and you replace them with people who vow to change the situation. Because every single day that goes by, without that kind of, like, syst systemic change and really meaningful change, is another day that you or someone you know is more likely to become a victim of a crime. Whether we're talking about New York, Philadelphia, Seattle, Portland, L.A., all of these cities are on the brink. And it is political. 
We've got an election coming up. You just talked about it with Blake Masters. This is what's on the line. Yeah. This is unfortunate, man. I bust, I'm telling y'all right now. I, I mean it when I tell y'all this, man. I bust my tail. I work. I, I strategize. I learn. I study. I spend endless hours trying to figure out how I can make life more secure for my family. I do that. And I'm certain that there's a great amount of people in this country who do the same thing. So I empathize with you because nobody want to bust their tails just so they can have so they have to look over their shoulders and defend what they worked for. Nobody want to when my, when I go out, when I go out to to the stores to for, to run errands or to do anything. My my wife don't should not have to worry about whether or not I will return back home. That should not be a concern of hers. Why? Because I chose to live right. It'd be a difference if I chose to live wrong, if I chose to be a crud ball, if I chose to, a life of crime and she knew that that was a part of, like that was bound to happen. The likelihood of this happening was kind of, you know, it, it might happen. This is part of the game. This is the world we're in, but it's not the world we're in. It's not the world I'm in. It's not the world most of you are in. So what exactly are we doing? What we're going to do is we're going to play a blame game. We're going to constantly say he did it. He did it. She did it. She did it. And nobody's going to do a damn thing to fix the actual issue. And this is the wild part. When y'all try to do something, that actually fixes the problem, it's going to seem too harsh to some people. It's going to seem like you're picking on a certain group again. You're picking on a, the disenfranchised. Let me tell you something. If all the crime are happening in Safeway or the Giant or Wegmans or Wise, it's happening in one of those stores and I send all of my armed forces to those stores to stop the crime. Yes, it's going to seem like we are targeting that group. But guess what? We wouldn't be over there if they didn't bring us there. In order for emergency services to happen, an emergency has to happen. And that's exactly what's happening. It's crazy, man. Especially in, in Blake Master State, Arizona, with, when yep. you mix in the border and illegals, Gotaways coming into that and all the fentanyl. Absolutely right. The Los Angeles City Council president is wow. forced to give up her leadership position this week over big controversy regarding deeply racist remarks she made captured on a leaked audio recording. Uh -oh. It set off a series of angry protests. These just yesterday. Nuri Martinez was heard making disgusting comments about a colleague's black two-year-old son. <laughs> what? She apologized and then resigned as president, but not from the council. The White House. The White House is weighing in. The president is glad to see that one of the participants in that conversation has resigned, uh, but they all should. He believes that they all should resign. The language that was used and tolerated during that conversation was unacceptable and it was appalling. What was said? I need to know what was said. What was said? And who was Nuri? Um, who was that? The liberal media, however, are glossing over Martinez's party affiliation. She's a Democrat. First of all, break it down for me, Jason Nuri. Ah. <laughs> They say, look, only the Democrat quit. So what she started? We don't care. <laughs> These people are nuts, man.
Don't tell me that the rest of the people are Republican. You better not tell me that the rest of the people on the board that she want to be fired are Republican. Joe Biden, President Biden says it's good that she quit, but we feel like they all should quit because <laughs> the rest of them are Republican. You better not tell me that the rest are Republicans, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually quite surprised that so many people have taken to protest on this. I guess I'm kind of used to when a Democrat does this, they kind of get a pass, although maybe because the media is not actually mentioning that she's a Democrat, some people might be confused. But I'm glad that they're actually stepping up because the only way that you're going to see some sort of real change is being coming activated in your community. And I know it takes a lot of time for people to just show up to some meeting in the middle of the day or in the evening when you've got a family and a job. But they decided to do that because they know what's on the line here. And so you've got to start getting rid of these very toxic people. And in fairness to the White House, I actually agree. It's not just about Martinez. It's about the others who were caught on this tape as well. Now, the media giving this a ideological pass, again, that is not necessarily surprising. We right. just had this conversation about Robert Tellis, who, the, the Clark County Public Administrator, who was accused of a murder. They didn't talk about the fact that he was a Democrat. And they do this intentionally because we're heading into the midterms and they don't want to have any kind of causal relationship between the way these people act and their ideology, even though they do that to Republicans all the time. I was time. just going to say. It is pathetic. A causal yeah, they do relationship. It all the time to, the, to the right. You, you heard yeah. from our previous topic, um, you know, Republicans are liars and blah, 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 yep. blah. Well, what are Democrats when they say overtly racist remarks about a toddler? What did they say? Tell me what the daggone said, man. I want to hear what they, hold on, let me find out what they said. You're not going to daggone pigeonhole me, and I'm not going to be able to know what they daggone said. What did, what racist comment, comment did Neri say? I don't know who Neri is. Okay, Neri. Racist comment spurs Neri Martinez to resign. What did she say? What ethnicity? Okay, no, I don't want to know all that. Racist comments. Okay. LA Times. What did she say? Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada, yada. Racist, homophobic, and deeply cruel statements like these are disqualifying. Okay, what they say? Apparently, what? Called Bonin. At one point, Martinez called Bonin a little B I T C H. And referred to his son as a Paris Chinguito or like a monkey. Oh, sheesh. Listen, lady. Listen. <laughs> Listen, lady. And I get it because if you're using Spanish to, to, to call somebody a, a name, and I don't know who Bonin is, but if Bonin was the one with the black son, you're going to say that his son looked like a, a Paris Changuito. And, and apparently that's a, a black, uh, a, he looked like a monkey. And she also said Bonin's son had misbehaved on a parade float and needed a beat down. Oh, how old was this guy going to get? Sheesh. My gracious. So Bonin is the fourth black member of the council. Delion repeatedly called Bonin the council's fourth black member. Okay. All right. All right. We love our son. Beautiful, joyful child. Okay. They put out a statement. Okay. All right. So she, she called him a changuito. Said he like a, he looked like a monkey and said he need to get a beat down. Wow. This is where we are now, huh? Let me tell y'all something, man. Politics is becoming the WWE. I'm not and playing. Hold on. Hold on. Don't start talking yet. This has become the WWE, man. For real. For real. Uh, yeah. What are they? This, this was a lapse. This is a lapse of judgment on a Democrat. When a Republican does something even, not even remotely close to something like this, oh, this is systemic and this is institutional and it shows you the deeply embedded white supremacy within the Republican Party. It is so, it, the double standard is so obvious and I'm glad that people are starting to pay attention because again, th these are Democrats going after other Democrats yeah, in Los Angeles. Dem and they're starting to pick up on it. Yep. Yeah. You know what though? I, I will just say this. Just point this out. 
I don't see why the White House gets involved other than the fact that they want this to go away as quickly as possible because she was a Democrat and, and because this once it gets out that Democrats are doing this and and caught on tape and all of that that becomes a focal point. And so wouldn't the White yeah. House rather get involved in this and push those people off the stage than solve the economic issues. You know what? You're absolutely right, because all they got to do when it comes time to them saying that we do something, we jump to action. See, when the lady says something racist, we fight her. Huh? When a lady says something racist, we got rid of her, her tail. All right. And we got rid of the whole entire team. So vote for us for another four years. <laughs> nope. Man, y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Van. And now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual. Love y'all. Don't forget to like this, subscribe to this, and also the Van Hall channel. That's in the description. I need y'all to click on that link. Go and follow there. Follow. Go subscribe there. Some good stuff is going to be over there very soon. Very soon. All right. Love y'all, man. Peace.